And now it's time for a look at the arts and culture scene with our Im Yoon Hee. She joins us live for a look at a different kind of festival. Good afternoon to you, Yoon Hee. Good afternoon. So um, you have a film festival using these smartphones, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So this is actually the fourth uh, international Ole uh, smartphone film festival. Now it first started in 2011, shortly after a first theater release, a uh, short film using only the iPhone was released and that was actually produced by two Korean brothers. And now since then, the festival has grown on to be the biggest uh, smartphone film festival in the world. Now, two directors were asked what they thought about uh, smartphone films and take a look at their response. <laughs> <laughs> Just like he said, now anyone with a smartphone can make a movie. This year marks the fourth Olay International Smartphone Film Festival, a new type of festival perfect for today's smartphone-driven world. It's a competition of short films, and the only requirement is a smartphone. The jury will be led by Ru Sing Wan, director of the hit films The Berlin File and Crying Fist as they judge short film entries from around the world. There are five special awards to be won this year, including one main award. There's even an award for the funniest video in the competition. The smartphone has brought movie making into the grasps of the general public. It's a festival meant to encourage the imagination, and the use of something today's society has become quite adept at using. So basically, you know, uh, this is something virtually anybody can participate in. Exactly. Uh, the short clips that we just saw, are they entries from uh, previous years? So these entries are actually from uh, experienced directors, and so they wanted to really encourage this year's uh, participants to come out and submit videos. And so you can submit videos to them starting July 1st, so right around the corner until August 14th. So plenty of time for you to submit. And um, last year they actually saw 700 applications, and that's the highest they've ever seen. So it's a growing festival, so a lot of that but they're also excited to see a lot of videos. Right. I mean, I'm I'm no filmmaker, but you know, mm -hmm. I even have an application or two that that I can make movies with. So this is you know something very uh, general these mm -hmm. days. Uh, what are the different categories that we can apply? So there are two sections: is a short uh, film section that's anything under ten minutes, and another extreme short film section that's anything under one minute. So very short, but people get very creative with this section as well. And so there's also a cash prize uh, to be won, but including a youth award. And they really want to encourage the younger generations to participate and to, you know, use their creativity. So many of the kids nowadays have smartphones, so, you know, it's easy to go around and, you know, take a video of what you're walking around and see and then film and then, you know, to share it with the public. Right, and it's, it's a great way for everyone to, uh, you know, discover new talents by, mm -hmm. by, uh, by these uh, film festivals. Now, I'm sure they won't come short of uh, the, uh, the applications, but okay. uh, where will they be screening these films? So they're going to, the jury will choose a, a selection of films and they will be screening those at the Mega Box in Kung them and so you can catch them there um, but you know they really are expecting quite a large number of uh, films this year and they're really excited and there's plenty of time for you to submit your application so uh, they're encouraging everyone to participate right well you need maybe you and I should uh, try out exactly as well. take a video of this year <laughs> yeah all right well uh, thank you so much for today and we will see you next week see you then